when anyone is sick or on vacation or out for any reason or even the jobs that they have eliminated. I cover those. Trina Jennings described her responsibilities to me. As a clerk, it's her job to manage things like payroll, scheduling, and order personal protective equipment for workers at the refinery. I have worked three and four jobs at a time, full-time jobs. So I've worked 50, 60 hours a week. She says Phillips 66 decided to get rid of some positions in her department, and she's had to pick up the slack, barely keeping up with all the work. And so they started with the smallest, lowest paid group. Now, not only are these workers upset about extra hours and wages, they're also concerned jobs might be taken out of Ponca City. As Phillips has in the past re reduced and moved people to other communities, it has impacted Ponca City and surrounding areas so much. And we don't want to see that continue. And we want to keep our jobs local. Employees in the United Steel Workers Union also joined the picket line to support clerical workers. Keeping jobs local is a concern for them too. And we've seen it year after year in Ponca, uh, where, where jobs just keep leaving and leaving and leaving, you know, and, and this is the first time in a while that it's, it's affecting union jobs. All this, as employees say, the company has made good profits in the last year. In fact, on the company's website, Phillips 66 says, quote, for the third quarter 2023, Phillips 66 announces earnings of $2.1 billion compared with earnings of $1.7 billion in the second quarter. They've had some of the best quarters and, um, <clears throat> you know, this is following, this is all part of their big business transformation they did and, uh, you know, they laid off a lot of salary people um, and they're just making their way down through the ranks. We reached out to the company offices in Ponca City and the corporate offices in Houston for comments, but we did not hear back from them.